Okay, next up, we're going to try Kether. Some sort of mismatch of game styles. So on one hand, it's like a flying game. There's maze elements. Let's just see. This is one that uh, I saw early doors in the CDR magazine. And yeah, pretty wowed by it. Um, but you know, now we've got it. <laughs> I was hoping to say positive things about CDI and there are plenty. Uh, these were just getting the dross out of the way first. So let's have a look. I mean, Dross, this is at least interesting. Where the golf game's horrendous, this has at least got some redeeming qualities. Uh, this has got impressive sequences as well, and I don't think, no, it doesn't use the digital video cartridge. and from a renowned development house as well. Pour découvrir l'univers de Kether, choisissez l'une de ses options. To discover the universe of Kether, choose one of these options. How mysterious, it's like the uh, Turkish Delight advert. So, a little bit lawnmower man -y. I don't know what came first. Can anybody explain what's happening? Was that the inspiration for uh, Arcade Fire's Glass Man? in the uh, reflector video. Let's give it a bit of vol. So, bit 2001 Space Odyssey. Bit like the monolith. So I don't know how the text is coming across. It's saying Melkor, humanoid, humanoid or, uh, origin from Nebula, unit Quasar Five Armada, rank Knight. I mean, why is this a slideshow? Why couldn't it be video? <laughs> Broadcast of non-deciphered message. Automatic orbit around Kepa activated. I mean that was a bit cool, it was a bit like 70s, 80s British sci-fi there. High levels of radioactivity, greenhouse effect and constant acceleration, drifting towards a black hole in the Pleiades Nebula sector. Life signs rare, detected only in the sixth continent. Traces of civilization recorded by probes. Okay. Teleport to dome of visions. Teleport to dome of visions. Mission orders. I 
I mean, this is exactly what you want from the CDI, right? I am the visual representation of your celestial father, Enoi. He who reigns over all galaxies. So a bit like Superman. Long ago in the Orion Nebula, I prepared you for this mission. You must save the planet Ketha from the forces of evil. Cork is holding a prisoner on the planet. She is Eta Kareen, Princess of Wisdom. We wish her to be saved. My light shines upon you, Melkor. I mean, I think I'm going to leave all this in for your pleasure. Two combat stations activated. Cibriel vision activated. Helmet activated. <laughs> Switch into active so here we go, I think we're going to slip into the game here, the flying sections anyway. So I think you can choose here. Let's give that a go. So this is basically like a full motion video flying segment. So you've got streamed background graphics, plus a sprite ship with inverted controls. You, no shooting, I think. Just uh, trying to dodge the CGI backgrounds. Now bear in mind I'm playing this on some shit remote. That went well. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I mean, what happened there? I don't know what that bit was. Oh. I mean, graphics? This is fucking real. I mean, it's not real, it's CGI backgrounds, but... I mean, I think I'm gonna have to get a pad to even start to enjoy this. I mean, we've got to say, this is much better than anything the Mega CD, graphics-wise. Just because of the amount of colours on screen, I think. You know, not even using the digital video, video cartridge, at least this looks pretty good. Obviously, the CDI is not generating these polygons in the fly. Look at the star which can save you. You must be master of yourself in all situations. Never doubt your ability to succeed. With each step you take towards the light, new strength is given to you. So, pretty low on power. You might see some sort of green orbs on the screen. That, yeah, gets your power back up. Did he hit me? <laughs> I need to one of those orbs. Shit. Please. Oh, come on. 
I've like hit every single thing. Oh. What is this? Is this like some sort of purgatory or something? It's crazy. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, am I really going to apologise for my horrendous gaming skills at this? Maybe I should have had a practice. I mean, this is, at least it's a little bit sedate, this one. I'm guessing this is like the first level just to give you a taste. Maybe I should take the inverted controls off if there's even an option to do so. Oh, come on, did I not get that power up? It's this uh, interesting, having fun yet? You go rush out and get a CDI with Kether. Emperor of Light will speak. There is no chance, no random luck. You forge your destiny with each of your actions. Never admit defeat. You are what you do. Look at the star which can save you. Uh, is it the blue one you got on your head? So, I think we're due for a change in game styles now, no? Are we, am I controlling this? No. Oh no. Puzzle sequence. Oh, is this like a match the tiles? Okay. Tension is incredible. I mean, was that fun? <laughs> it's like a mobile phone game. Changing stars again. Oh, wonderful interactive experience. So what the fuck was that? What the fuck? What the fuck? No, he's not eating me straight away. Can I even fire back? So, this <laughs> first person shooter made out of 2D graphics. Ugh.
Does anyone have any idea what was that? What was happening? Did we collect that item? Answers on a postcard, as always. I mean, really, I hope one of these guys would just kill me to put me out of my misery. I mean, uh... Bye, guys. Next time, we'll play some better games. I mean, that was pretty enjoyable, right? But we've got some real good stuff to come. Cheers.